Import range function in Google Sheets allows you to pull data from one document into another one. Hey, my name is Gala, I'm a Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gailey Reports. And in this video, we will observe how import range function works. So let's start to type our formula. I start to write import and already I can see this formula in the list import range. Uh, we have two arguments here, spreadsheet URL and range string. To write our, uh, we can open our tips to see details. Uh, so we should open our quotation marks and insert here our URL uh, of our document. We can take URL, we can take till edit, till this one, we can take this part and uh, open quotation marks, close it, uh, comma, and then we should select um, tab. I just click here twice and copy this. Again, open quotation marks, um, exclamation mark, and uh, we should add data range A to D10, for example, and press enter. So when we do it first time, when we do it for the first time, uh, when we create a link for the first time, we can see an error. And uh, when we move our mouse, we can see that we need to grant access to the document. Let's click allow access. Uh, that is it. We already have imported our data. So we have two two parameters. The first parameter a URL and second parameter tab name and date range. Um, but there are some details that I would like to mention. For example, we can we don't it's not necessary to use the whole URL address. We can you we can just use uh, this information and you see formula will work. So I took only part of URL I, because every Google Sheets has num has um, ID. And um, if you check URL, I, I can copy it here, just you to see. Um, and I can make it a bit bigger so that you can see it better. So each URL has some, uh, I want to remove edit link. I want to remove link. Can I? Okay, doesn't matter. Um, so my URL contains several options. I can first part of URL. It is a Google Sheets, and uh, this part of URL. This part of URL till D. Then we have our document ID, and then we have. Um, edit view mode. So uh, each URL, each Google Sheets URL contains three parts that are important for us. And instead of copy the whole URL address, we can just copy this Google Sheets ID and formally will work. This is the first moment that I wanted to mention. Uh, second moment, uh, A1. Uh, let's start with A1. I want to have titles. Oh, sorry. I did. Um, uh, what else I would like to tell you, uh, instead of adding here URL, we can copy our URL again, uh, link, for example, we can do it here. I will remove the last part of URL after edit. And instead of uh, adding URL to the formula, we can add link to formula with URL. In our case, g five, <laughs> uh, so instead of adding URL to the formula, we can use a link to the cell and the result will be the same. Uh, second option, second moment that I want to mention, we can do the same stuff with a tab as well. So if we, um, we can copy this information to cell and uh, here Mm, tab for example and we can and I don't need these marks here so instead of uh, this we can write 
uh, link to the cell and formula will work. Maybe it will be easier for you because you can see this. Um, uh, it's easier to see. Easier to see um, and change formula because you can see data, your data range here. Um, what, why I like it and why, when do I use this? For example, I use this formula when I have a, a document with like 10, 100,000 of rows and I need to do some aggregations like summary by days, by month, etc. And uh, the main document became super heavy and works slow. So I uh, do all calculations in one document. I do pivot table, for example, in this document and do import range mm, and use import range formula and just pull pivot table to the main document for example this is one case that i use uh, and this is uh, this formula needs uh, internet to work so your laptop should be connected to the internet to this formula works and uh, now i have the same user i have a uh, same user here and um, for this document that is why it works for me uh, but if someone has access to this document but doesn't have access to this document uh, um, so person who writes this formula should have access to both documents that i want to say um, this is interesting and when you pull uh, like huge amount of data um let's i can change data range here and we pull 100 rows instead of 10. uh if we pull big uh huge amount of data it will take time to load it so be careful about that so i don't recommend to load pull like a big amount of data because it will take time and makes your document slower uh, formula updates every time when you refresh your document. So when you open your document, uh, formula start to work and import data. Why it is important for me? Because I work with Looker Studio. And for example, when I work with Looker Studio, I don't need to open um, Google Sheets all the time. I should work. Uh, it should work without opening the document because we connect Looker Studio to Google Sheets, and in this case, a date range function is n not import range function is not good for me because uh, data will not be updated. Uh, to update this data, uh, I have to open the document manually or oh, by trigger uh, something like that. So this is details, but basically, I explain you how does it work, this formula works. I hope you like it. Um, you can combine this formula with query function. You can do import range from several data, from several documents, but it's already uh, next story. <laughs> so <laughs> let me know if you have uh, questions about this formula as a formula. I will record other videos and subscribe to my channel. Um, and like to this video and talk to you soon.